What you are seeing right now is an upcoming PlayStation 4 title called Rocket League. It's in closed beta right now, and I want to share with you my thoughts on the game after playing the beta quite a bit. Rocket League is a football game played with cars where you control one car and play against other players. You can jump, use boost to get extra speed, and of course go backwards. There are four different game types available in the beta. 1 vs 1, 2 vs 2, 3 vs 3, and 4 vs 4. All of them are very fun, but for different reasons. Playing solo against another player is a great way to improve your skills, but the tiniest of a mistake will cost you a goal. 4 against 4, however, is just pure frantic fun. The action is non-stop, and seeing players constantly battle for the ball is extremely enjoyable. Although the action rises with more players, the number of goals usually gets lower when the number of players gets higher. Each game is 5 minutes long, but if there is a tie, then you go into extra time where the first team to score wins the match. Rocket League is a sequel to supersonic acrobatic rocket-powered battle cars, which was released on the PlayStation 3 back in 2008. That game was pretty interesting, but had some flaws that kept it from being a classic. It takes some time to get used to the gameplay and get a grasp on the controls, but after a couple of games, you should be ready to play with the big boys. Mastering the timing on when you should go ahead and attack the ball or jump into the air is crucial. It's likely you won't touch the ball at all, or have a bad shot if your timing isn't right. And when you get the hang of the gameplay, it's so satisfying to dribble the ball through the field and score a good goal. Boosting is also very important. You have a limited amount of boost, but there are boost pads all over the field, which refills your boost meter. An ordinary boost pad will give you 12 points, but a boost pad with a ball in it will give you full power and use boost to climb higher into the air and control your movement. When you master this rocket jump, the game will instantly become much more enjoyable. If you boost at full speed into an opponent, he will explode and will join the action again after a couple of seconds. This can come in handy when an opponent is about to score a goal. As fun as it is scoring some amazing goals, I get more joy out of a great save. Trying to be a goalkeeper is much more difficult than driving the ball into the net. The game gives you points when you do some activities. For example, scoring a goal, assist another player, save a shot, clearing a ball, or being the first to touch the ball after a kickoff. The game plays beautifully. It looks amazing, and I really like it when games aren't afraid of using colors. The frame rate is pretty solid and matchmaking is for the most part very good. Usually the game finds you a match pretty soon, but there were a couple of instances where I had to wait for some time before being thrown into a match. I really like the fact that when your match is waiting for additional players, you can play around with the other players on an open field. This is much better than staring at the lobby screen. If someone leaves in the middle of a game, another player will be thrown into the action right away, which is fantastic. Twice did the game crash, but considering this is a beta and I have played for many many hours, that is not a big concern. After having played Rocket League before its launch, I have to say that Psyonix have crafted a much better game than the original PS3 game. I can't wait for the complete game to be finished and get my hands on it. There isn't a release date for the game right now, but judging by how great the beta plays, I don't think we have to wait for too long. Rocket League is one of my most anticipated games right now. It's that good. And let's end this video with some gameplay montage of this promising game. 